the topics we've been talking about today here are how do we integrate advanced technology and uh, the skill sets uh, of future employees. And it's just critical that uh, industry partner with uh, the educational institutions around our state. Today, kind of what I took away from more than anything else is the connection that, that the vocational and the trade schools have with, uh, with the kids and how we need to make that more attractive to the kids that are moving into that type of uh, work environment. For us, we've been really made a huge emphasis on workforce since 2018. We could see the trends that we were not going to have enough people with the right skills, so we working with industry and other strategic partners in the state, such as education with career tech. I think probably the most interesting thing I, that I saw today was the integration of technology. Uh, how automation still requires human hands and human minds to put into, to, into practice. It's also great to uh, come in something like this, learn about some of the CAD skills that we're using in class and how those are utilized in industry, learn how the technology we use, such as 3D printers, to expand that and make sure that we're using that as a tool for learning and to expand their, their transferable skills in industry. Um, so it's great to be able to make those connections to come to an event like this and see that. That we make it interesting for the kids, that, we, that we, we show them what manufacturing is now and how they can get into that. It's not a dirty, sweaty, nasty job like it was. It's a very, very heavily tech-centered industry now. If students can uh, obtain uh, you know, pre-engineering or trade skills while in high school, that makes that gives them a competitive advantage against other candidates and we would welcome that and that's a head start in the workforce that we have here